Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to properly prepare your car model inside of Cinema 4D in order to export it into Unreal Engine for a controller rig. So as you can see here, we have a 3D model of the car. It's a Mercedes SLS. It's a lovely one. So as you can see here, we have the body separated from the wheels and we have here each wheel. So let's start by naming those wheels accordingly so here we have the front left wheel so let's type in f l and this one is the rear left you guessed it r n and this one rear right and this one front left Let's just put these in order. So we have, um, I'm sorry, so this one is front right. FR. So we got front left, front right, rear left, and rear right. Good. And this one, let's name this group body. Good. So now we can go to character and select join tool and let's change the view for a better angle. So just hold on control and click on any wheel. That's good. Now let's duplicate this joint three times to three. So here in total we have four joints. And let's put each joint inside a wheel. So let's start with this one, this one, this one, and this one. And let's give them the same names. So FL, FR, RL, and RR. So that's good. Now, what we need to do is select the first one and hit Shift C and type in Reset PSR. So that will allow us to center the joint with the center axis of this wheel, as you can see here. So let's do this for the rest. Okay, that's good. And let's name this one body. And let's move it up a bit. And now what we need to do is adjust the orientation. What we need exactly is all the axes. We need them to be facing the X axis. So let's start by doing that. So here you can reset the rotation for the body. The front left joint is good. It's facing the X axis. This one is not facing the X axis. So we need to rotate it the other way around. Like so. And this just frees its coordinates. Good. The rear left, good. And the rear right. So now, as you can notice, we have all of these joints facing the X axis. Now we need to do the same thing with the wheels. As you can see, this one is already oriented. This one also. This one is not. So what we need to do is rotate it the other way around.
and let's freeze its coordinates. Let's do that for all the wheels. So this one is already frozen. This one is not. And this one already done. And this one freeze. So now we have all the wheels in place. Okay. So that's good. Now we need to put our joints back to the body joint to get something like that. That's good. Now let's hit Ctrl A and deselect the parent node. So we're left only with the meshes and the joints. And let's hit character, command and bind. Now we have skins for each part of our model. So now here comes the front part. Let's select, let's start with the front left wheel and let's select the front left wheel and let's solo it. Select the front wheel joint and let's search for the weight tool. With the weight tool selected, let's uncheck visible only and let's zoom out so we can be able to select the, uh, the wheel with one click so we don't have to paint it this way just zoom out and click once and we're done so now if we select our joints we can move the wheel around like so Perfect. Let's do that for the other wheels. So let's select the front right wheel, let's solo it, and select the joint. And let's search for the weight tool, zoom out, let's unsolo. Now we can move this wheel too. Do the same thing for the rest. So this one is rear left and rear left. Now we can move all of our four wheels. Good. Now we are left with the body. So let's solo the body by middle click mouse, select all the children and solo. Zoom out. Just like that, by one single click, we are able to select all the parts. Perfect. So now we have a fully rigged car ready to import into Unreal Engine.
So let's do that. Select all the parts by clicking on Ctrl A and File, Export, and let's export it as an FBX. Here it is, FBX. Let's name it Mercedes SLS and let's just hit OK. 